Well, Molly, welcome to Birmingham City Football Club. How excited are you for this, the next chapter in your career? Uh, very. Um, it's an exciting one to be a part of. Carla's getting a few new girls in and a, a, re a revamped team and it's something that I'm really excited to be a part of. Yeah, you mentioned that you'd expect this summer to be a rebuilding process for Blues women. Like yeah. I say, to be part of that and early on as well for Carla to bring you in. Uh, how excited are you for the forthcoming season? Very. Um, I work with Carla for a short term at Sheffield and we worked well together and hopefully that continues here at Birmingham. For any Blues fans who hasn't seen you play, how do you sort of describe yourself and your style? Uh, I'd say a box-to-box -box midfielder. I think I try to get all over the pitch and try and influence higher up the pitch as well as coming back. Um, yeah, just an all-round midfielder, hopefully. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a young squad and you've played for a few clubs. Do you hope to bring a little bit of experience, even though you're still early to mid-20s, to yeah. the young group? Um, I'd hope so. I think I've been exposed to a professional environment for a long period of time now, so I think I can bring a lot of experience in regards to standards and stuff like that, but I'm here to learn as well, I'm here to play and take my game to the next level as well. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that you already worked with Carla at Sheffield United. Yeah. That move was obviously to go and play games. Is this move along the similar lines you've come here to try and make sure you can play regular football? Definitely, I think for me, where I'm at in my career, this is a really big move for me to go and play and go and show what I'm about in, in this league. Mm. You mentioned the league, WSL, it's a chance to play at the top tier and to challenge yourself as well, that must be a big attraction for you. Definitely, um, it was a big highlight that Carla brought to the, brought to the club and the club brings. Um, I want to get out there, I want to play. I, I work so hard and I've just got to showcase that now. Mm -hmm. We talk about Carla, it's the first few weeks at the club, but it's a show of faith to bring yourself into the club. You must have made a good impression during your time at, at Sheffield um, United. I think so. Um, it was short with, with everything going on, but let's get that relationship working again and hopefully it's a successful one. What were your impressions of, of playing for her and what sort of manager was she in the short period of time that you were working with her? Uh, an experienced one. She's been in and around the game for a while now and there's not really a bad word that gets said about it and that's something that attracted me to Carla and the club obviously. Um, but yeah, I just want to get that relationship going now. Mm, really disappointing then that the, the league was cut short um, at the start of the summer. What have you been doing over lockdown? It's obviously a tough period for everyone just to get yourself in preparation for this season. Really. Uh, a lot of one-to-one -one sessions on my own and stuff like that. Um, I was at United so I was training with some of the girls there. Just taking over, working hard and getting ready. We all knew this season was inevitable and we knew it was coming and just being in a good shape and ready to go and hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. I know you've been here for a couple of days. Yeah. The initial aim has to be to break into the starting eleven to prove yourself first and foremost to make sure that you're, you're a regular name on the team sheet. Yeah, 100%. That's what I've come here for. Um, to get that minutes, to get that exposure at this level and something that I think I deserve. And something in terms of a, a team objective for the season, it was a tricky one last season just to keep above the, the drop zone. Where do you think we need to be setting our sights this time around? Um, I think the team that Carl's getting together, it's, we should, shouldn't be aiming down the bottom. I think we should be aiming a bit higher. Um, already we've had a, a, a pre-season friendly and we've, we've done all right in it and that's a couple of days, a couple of weeks being together. So I think our aims need to be a bit higher this season. We've got the capabilities and the abilities in, in the dressing room to do that. Mm. The games are going to come thick and fast. We were just talking about it off camera. Yeah. Is that something that you relish, these match days, rather than one game here and there as the fixture list can be? No, 100%. That's what we train for at the end of the day is the 90-minute games at the end of the week. And that's game day. It's the fav our favourite day of the year. So the more game days there is, the better for us as players. We've lots of players coming in. Do you think it's going to take time to settle? Like you say, we can't really afford it with so many games, but are you going to take time for new players to settle in? I mean, it's a new city for you as well to, yeah. to make yourself um, uh, known with. Already I feel settled. Uh, the girls have been really well with me, and I think whoever comes in will be the exact same with them. As she says, I don't think we've got much time mm -hmm. to settle. We've got to really hit the ground running. That's what college sort of instilled already. Well, thanks for talking to us and all the Thank best you. for the season.